Hi, I'm Aaron Fry with the Cabinet of Energy Pro. Today we'll be installing new countertops in a new custom built home by Sterling Homes. So when we got the template, um, it's a very important process and what we do because we're, we're getting a visual of accessibility for the job for our guys. We're seeing what we're actually working with, uh, the type of cabinets. Uh, sometimes you go in houses and they're, you know, it's, if it's an older house, things are not square at a level. And, um, you have to make the adjustments there on site. Um, and you get to have that one-on-one -on -one communication with the customer, discussing overhang, where the seam placement might be, or what other issues you might run into. So it makes it nice to get a visual. So we're shooting a basement here. It will have overhang on the backside, which we'll put brackets in. Uh, they're called invisible brackets. They come in different lengths. They're about a quarter inch thick, and you can't really see them. Well, I mean, you can see them if you get up underneath there and see them, but they're meant to be stealthy. That's why they call them a stealth bracket. It's just a lot cleaner, a lot more leg room, and a uh, laser here, 2D, 3D. Um, the 2D used to be where it was a plane, a plane meaning like it was stuck in one position. Now they have 3D where you can rotate up, rotate down so if you need to shoot up here or if you need to shoot down here it gets both like a 3d versus before i'd have to raise the whole tripod up and down for the plane that i'm shooting now the laser only shoots what you pointed at so if you're pointed at something it's going to shoot that measurement and we're live unfortunately in this industry if you are off you're off a lot of money because nothing in this industry is cheap that's the most important part so we always double check, make sure. Perfect. With Sterling, they actually work with designers. So designs on Madison will come in, work with their customer, then they'll bring them here and we'll go through the different slabs and material that we have on site and help select from there. We like to buy a lot of unique you know, pieces of stone and cords and on our own. So when they come in, there's more of a selection. With any type of design process, whether it be, you know, SOB or a Sterling or whatever it might be, there's always a lot of detail in it, depending on how the layout of the cabinets, the structures, what you're wrapping around, uh, what the application is for. So it's, it, it's always very detailed in that process, make sure the flow, um, understanding the materials you're working with. Now, right now, I'm trying to finish this bar for Sterling Home. It is, um, this is a first floor bar. It does not get a sink. So, uh, if you can see this, um, I think I'm going to move this piece over here. Maybe move this piece over a little bit. It's just interesting bar. It doesn't have a sink. But they do have, it's right off the kitchen. Um, they have third floor bar which has a sink. It's, I don't know. There's so many bars in the house. Party time. <laughs> but then it is. Um, so there it is. Um, I think I'm done with this layout. See, I like the flow here. It seems well. And it gets a little splashes here and there. This piece is uh, it's just a master bathroom. It's kind of plain, but. Again, it's pretty long, about nine feet long, I think. I like to make sure the seam looks correct, so I know the flows, and yeah, it's just nice to know ahead of time, versus in the old days, we cut it on the bed, we have to kind of figure it out where every piece goes, and we have to make sure this will fit in the slab. It's just a technology, it's different. It doesn't, everything, it, it seems small uh, on the computer scale, but in reality, it's pretty big. It's hard for the guys, and this is on the, well, I think the master is on the second floor, probably. Um, and then the other bar is on the third floor. It's uh, pretty painful when they have to take this all the way up to the stairs and turn. So all guys are, are doing a great job, I gotta say.
the way that they manufacture quartz that is man-made, um, it comes in a powder form. They take the powder, which is quartz ground up with other chemicals in it, they lay it out on a sheet, like a cookie sheet. They put their little stamp in there, which makes the veins and whatnot that goes in there. And then they actually hand do, put these colors in, gold, grays, all, all the colors you see as a vein, and it goes in there. And then they bake it. It's heated, pressed, and then after that they polish and buff on the top. Now, a granite is 100% natural out of a mountain. Literally, the mountain you see is what you get. So they take it like a loaf of bread. They cut a block, they put it on a machine, and they cut slices. Then they pour a resin on top. The best thing about it is, is a lot of people like the natural stone still because that piece of mountain nobody else has. That's the coolest thing about granite. If you look at a granite, it's like glass. I just like the shiny glass look and it makes it reflect all the natural stuff that's in the stone and it brings it to life. So that's our, our wheel dolly. A wheel dolly is how we carry things through the door on big islands. Scene placement it matters a lot of, if there's a bay window, if there's a lot of sunlight coming from the right or the left, we try to avoid that. So if you do have like a big bay window coming through and you got a peninsula or an island and you have to put a seam in it, sometimes it'll reflect like you'll actually see a dull line in the middle of it. So scene placement is very important to the lighting. Also scene placement is important when you have stability. So a lot of people don't understand that you don't see them above a dishwasher unless absolutely you can't avoid it, there's no way to do it because there's no support in the middle of a dishwasher. So we like to put the seam where we know there's the most support on a style of a cabinet, uh, on a brace on the back, whatnot. So that, that, that's the most important part and also safety. Safety, our guys, we don't like to add seams, but we also, it's tough to pick up a thousand pound island and carry it up two flights of steps. It just doesn't work that way, so. That's why we mostly have a seam, is to make it safe. Thank you so much for watching. Please visit us on our website. 
Remember to like, subscribe, and follow us on social media. And that way you can stay up to date with all of us here at the Cabinet Grenadine Club. Thank you. Thank you.